I don't know about tarot, but maybe like palm reading and mm-hmm. stuff. And I was very drawn to it. And who uh, in the family was the palm reader? My father. Oh, wow. So it <laughs> runs in the family. I think we all are intuitive, yeah. Uh-huh. But no one, you know, kind of went to like go all in that kind of thing. I was the first person. Next time on Feeling Sisters, meet Ella, who tells us her story of how she transitioned from music to becoming a successful tarot reader. I was kind of like going through some stuff with that person and I actually started watching YouTube. I discovered your channel there. Oh. I'm like not even making this up. <laughs> and you are Scorpio, I think readings were like about my life. And I was watching and watching and I don't know, it was kind of like it all came together. Mm-hmm. I was like, let me just try, let me just put some videos out. And there you go. My channel just started growing very fast. So and you're a person who does not stop until there is no limit. So. Uh, like if I really want something, right? That's it. We go. Sometimes I just kind Which of like I'm not sure. Basically, you trust your intuition. New episode every Sunday on Eat, Read, Love. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. First off, let's throw some shade. It ain't Burger King, so don't come at my work. Tell me what to do. Open your own YouTube channel and build it your own self, okay? So you can do whatever you want. <laughs> YouTube is free, okay? So that's that. So click off, okay? <laughs> so now let's uh, start the introduction. Uh, March 21. Oh, you can also fast forward to uh, all the way to the reading. If you are an OG, you know the drill, all right? Um, there's no extended two for this one. There is an extended preview. Uh, March 21 and 22, uh, 28 is the webinar, the workshop for the entrepreneur. Um, so for those people who are trying to establish himself and how to manage, you know, the hate, you know. Because <laughs> it's hard to get, you know, to get things running when a lot of energies are, you know, trying to push you back. And I will tell you how you can make it. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. What else? Um, Good Morning Tea will be back next week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then what else? Um, I feel like that's it. Life is good every day. I'm so inspired. I'm so happy. I'm ecstatic. This is the time. I feel the time for happiness. Okay. So that's that one. Um, everything is in the description box for the extended link. We have um, webinars and workshop that are already recorded and ready for you to download. So you can learn Jupiter, Saturn, Venus. It's all down there. Um, there's also tarot classes also in the description box. Now, I think that's all that I have to say. And I'm doing tarot for, for this reading. And like what I mentioned, down there is comments, not complaints, not judgment. So you got to walk it off, okay? Because this channel is not for you if you're not a happy person. I sing a lot and I do whatever I want. Move along. I'll see you guys again. <laughs> so now let's go to your reading. All right, Taurus, so let's begin your reading. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram also at Sal Biadora. I do their moon transits every time, so there's going to be a focus on things that you might, you should be aware of energetically because I discussed the nakshatra. And it's always in IG story. Okay, so check it out, Sal Biadora. Uh, so there's daily predictions there. All right. Oh, by the way, Four of Wands was at the bottom of the deck earlier in the pre-shuffle. So that's a very positive, you know, considering that you guys have been bombarded okay, by a little bit difficult of energy, okay? But let's see for the Taurus here. Okay. What's up with you guys? Okay. Let's see. Taurus. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Got nine of cups. Feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> I like feeling good. Okay. Um, having a nine of cups is an energy of um, satisfaction, emotional satisfaction. Okay. Emotional constipation. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> no, it's like excited. Okay. Um, beaming with joy, but probably they received some good news over here with the Nine of Cups because in order for you, your wish to be granted, um, you know, um, you're seeing positive outcome. Mm-hmm. There's going to be some results that is going to be shown to you pretty, pretty soon. Um, I believe this, uh, this energy is all about, uh, how to say this, um, being uh, single right now. Um, however, uh, even though you're single, you understand that you are vibrating in a different mood, in a different level. So I love it. Um, having the Nine of Cups also is like enjoying the trophy. So you could have probably won a prize, again, recognition. 
Um, the red over here shows your passion, okay, with regards to your creativity as it sits in your head. And, you know, the eye, the eyes, the, the arms being closed off, um, that will appear as someone who is not open right now um, to, uh, to give love because you are still enjoying the single blessedness. Um, the challenge of the Nine of Cups is like it does get bored sitting down. Mm -hmm. Think of it as a party where there's a lot of people and you are the more timid one. And I mean, you are all your face is beat. The that hair is snatched. You know, the 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 waist is cinch. You said cinch. You know, and everything is working. However, it's just like, uh, you know, it's like I like myself way too much to go. Uh, you know, to go out to mingle, but you are being pushed and you're being driven by the universe to get up and get your ten of cups. Love it. If I don't let go of the card, it does not stop talking. Okay, <laughs> so that's the problem right there. Mm -hmm. You could have probably seen some results in your creativity. Every time you see a stool, uh, you know, a bench, okay, <laughs> stool, <laughs> you know, a stool, a bench, okay, because my accent is thick. It's called being cultured. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's a problem because uh, you have rest, you're in a rest mode, okay, a resting mode, and someone probably wants to be with you, but you're still see, trying to see if you are going to be able to commit to them. Mm -hmm. Got a Knight of Cups, you're making a move. I'm in the move for dancing. <laughs> no. Knight of Cups with a Knight of, oh, you're making a move. Hello. Hello from the other side. <laughs> so you're looking at yourself like a snack because this is the only card that looks for a soulmate. Um, you're ready. Taurus, you're ready to fall in love. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if the person is ready, but you are. Okay. Woo! So that's a change of energy. That's good. Nine of Cups with the Nine of Cups. Let me see here. So movement. You finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. This is a message. Okay, I don't see this as like, ooh, night. No, it's more of like you just text message. You found love. Show me love what it is all about. Mm-hmm. Empress, oh, hello. Well, someone loves you. <laughs> that it comes with the Empress. I think they don't want in love with you. Yeah. I think I'm in love. I think I'm in love with you. Mm-hmm. So what is this? Who is this person who makes you feel this Empress mode? Mm-hmm. You feel appreciated, love, and cared. You are on the top right now here. If it's a hit list, hit list. <laughs> if it's a, uh, what do you call that? You know, the, the music billboard chart. That's not a hit list, hot list. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but top chart. Top chart? Okay, I'm a teleprompter. Okay, so top chart, okay. You are seeing that, uh, how to say it is, like this person makes me feel good. Makes you feel love and you are in heaven, okay? Tears in heaven. <laughs> Empress card. Would you know my name? Nobody died, okay? <laughs> Tears in heaven. I love it. Oh my God, Taurus. Finally, you got out of the rut. Mm -hmm. Number three might be significant to you. Person adores you. See, this is there is respect here, I feel. You're not shunning them off. Judgment. Hello, movement, right? That's good. Accepting that the past is over. I don't sense a reconciliation. I sense it's a new person giving you hope. Okay. You know, they say if someone is singing, someone is in love. It's not me, it's you. <laughs> don't rub that in me. Okay. Empress with a judgment, you in love, and you're ready to bite the apple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, last time I bit was an apple, <laughs> was a pear. <laughs> Some peaches. <laughs> so here, I feel like judgment with the Empress, um, you're moving forward to, uh, I feel like a commitment, a new one, um, with no, because the judgment it removes the devil already. You know what is good for you, and you feel like this is that person. Can be younger also. I love it. Can be Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Taurus or Libra. 
finally after eons of my existence here from the Jurassic era I see something good for you Taurus okay see here my soul has evolved 4,000 times from alien human to being a toad to being kissed and become a prince and only this time I can see good for you hello Tenacus <laughs> If I was in Vegas right now, it is a perfect time for you to say, it's like, I'm taking it, I'm walking. You're winning, keep it going. Nine of Cups with the Ten of Cups. Love is in the air. This person is in love with you. This is the right person for you right now. And I say, go for it because they're gonna go for you. Mm -hmm. They're gonna go for you. Um, the person is not hesitant. The person is uh, wanting exclusivity. The person makes you feel good, appreciated, and love. Okay. Wow. Number 10 is completion. You are the wish granted for this person, regardless of their age. This is two people realizing that they connect beyond time and ethers with judgment. Nine of Wands, I feel like someone feels that they want to make love and passion, you know, to you. And you feel this. You're drawn to this passion. You're drawn to this love. <laughs> and stability. Ten of Pentacles. You guys are winning. If this, I, I don't know how to play poker, so but you, you're winning. If, if, if blackjack, you're winning. If it's craps, you're not dealing with crap because Empress with a Ten of Pentacles, like what I told you, you are going to be in abundant, uh, abundant, secure relationship. This is someone who wants long-term partnership, stable, got the coins, got the goods, and I feel like they're offering it to you or you're receiving it from this person. The person appreciates the yin energy, meaning respects the female energy, which is good. Okay, you could have divorced someone. Separate. This person has released the past. You have released it with a judgment. And then, <laughs> it does not get better than this. Sal is lit for the Taurus today. Six of Cups, amazing. Okay, and I feel like I look like fresh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Six of Cups with the, with the judgment. Someone sees you as the one, the only. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. I ain't sugarcoating this. You have released a toxic energy and the person did the same thing. Two people come together realizing that they are meant for each other. Shabangles. I'm going to continue this reading. I love your energy today, Scorp uh, Scorpio. <laughs> I love the energy today, Taurus. Okay, You have a Sag. You have a younger water sign. The only thing I know about this, if there's a Leo also here, is that commitment is upon you and life do get better. And thank you for giving me good news. That that your life now is changing, okay? Follow me in the extended preview and everything is in the description box. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and amazing read. I hope you claim this by clicking like, meaning if, it, if you want it, it's yours. And if you're gonna be a shady mother side of a whatever you want, then it is not yours. I'll see you, bye. Someone has healed you. Mm -hmm. The nurturing energy of the Queen of Cups to the Three of Swords. Gamble. Someone is willing to put them, themselves on the line and be vulnerable. That's the full card. It is stupid, but everybody comes to love Scorpio. stupid. The tide is high and it's running low. I don't know, that's, that's a song, right? But this is the infinite uh, abundance of the universe.